Hey everyone, it's Desiree and I am here with Rubber Stamp Tapestry and today for our project we are going to feature Noel. Now believe it or not this is a peg stamp um, and it used to be a set but it is now available individually. All right this is the set that it used to come in um, but they are available again individually. So you get this cute little curly Q this beautiful Noel um, stamp with the sentiment and then of course the poinsettias with the greens. Now as always the rubber stamp peg stamps have a line, a registry line so that you know how the image will stamp wherever that line is. So you always want to be aware of that. So I've taken a piece of cardstock and I've used an oval die from my stash and cut that out. I wanted to put that back in, in and then I just used some low tack washi tape and now we are going to have fun stamping. I want to stamp on and off that oval and onto my background and we are just going to fill this up. This little poinsettia stamp is absolutely adorable and is tiny. So to get two different colors so that I can stretch my ink I'm using first generation stamping and I'm using second generation stamping. So your first generation stamping is from ink pad to paper. The second generation it is from ink pad to a scratch piece of paper and then on to your cardstock. So that's how you can get two different shades. Now the colors that I chose for today's project are from Gina K and it is red velvet, charcoal brown, jelly bean green, and fresh asparagus. Now you could do the same thing with the greenery. Um, you could do a first generation and a second generation and you would still have two different shades of that green. So you can see I've got the nice oval shape going on because I can use that die cut line as my guide to make sure that it's even. Now I'm going to come in with my, I'm going to call it the curly Q, um, and just use that to fill in as well. The beauty of these peg stamps is you can overlap, you can stamp over something. They are extremely forgiving and make the most beautiful bouquets in an instant. Um, so I think that's really cool. You can see how this is just building and building and building. Now I am just wanted to continue. Um, so I'm going to stretch this out from the top left corner into the bottom right corner. So again I'm just going to fill in with those reds using the first and second generation stamping and now I'm going to come in with my two shades of green just to fill that in as well. Now I'm using the charcoal brown for the curly Q and I'm also going to use that for my Noel. Now what I realized and it probably was the way that I had my um, stamp stored but there's actually a divot um, in the Noel um, at the bottom of the O. No worries, no stress. You can see that I'm noticing it now as I'm stamping. So that's okay. We I came up with an idea if you didn't see that. So I'm going to stamp the image. I'm going to pray that I'm in the center there. My head's going all over the place and I'm just going to wiggle. Now I got a pretty good impression but I still had that bottom. I'm going to make sure I check my registry and I'm just going to put a poinsettia right in there. Um, right into that nook. I'm going to come in with some greens and just make it look like that's coming up onto the O. Easy effects. Not a problem. I'm going to carefully remove my oval from the card base and now I have the two pieces. I'm going to go around the edge of the oval 
um, with the pad itself just to give it a line I'm not I know not vintage photo I know someone was thinking it out there um, I didn't want to um, you know have that uh, distressed look on the side even with these inks I just wanted that outside line dark as if that was the focal point or the there was actually that line was supposed to be there yeah I'd eventually get that out oh my goodness so I'm going to use some foam tape for the oval and I'm going to use my liquid adhesive and I'm going to put this piece right on top of a piece of gold glitter paper that I have in my stash and then I'm going to place these two pieces onto a red background that I got from my stash so the red is cut four and one eighths by five and three eighths the gold cardstock is cut four by five and a quarter and then the stamped piece is cut um, three and three quarters by five. So those are the different layers. So now I'm going to set my centerpiece in there. And you can see that that's raised just a little bit. So it gives it a little bit of dimension. That is also why I cut my uh, gold glitter paper. I kept that whole. Um, just in case you saw that along the side um, so that would be there so that's the project for today with rubber stamp tapestry I do hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for stopping by if you haven't already I'd love for you to subscribe make sure you hit that bell so that you know when the next video has been published you can't miss it and don't forget to hit the thumbs up all the products that I used will be listed down below in the video description. And if you have any questions or comments, please make sure you leave those and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hope everyone's having a great day, but always remember, always be creative.